we're going to talk about so many of these celebrities who aren't proud of their country and said so on July 4. Why? Because Roe v. Wade was overturned. Don't leave town. Now, don't forget, smash that like button, subscribe to the show, and every day on Epic TV, you'll find a new show. And remember, you can always call, leave a message. Please light on the profanity and try and make your message 59 seconds or less. 888-971-7243, 888-971-7243. Madonna not pleased that Roe v. Wade has been overturned. I want to start a revolution. Are you with me? Wade has been overturned. Putting this issue of abortion back to the states the way it was for all but the last 50 years of our republic. Prior to 1973, abortion was available to the majority of the population in America, including states like California and New York. Does it ever occur to some of these stars? Ever? that maybe, just maybe, there's a good faith feeling on the other side, that abortion is wrong, that it's a sin, that it's against God. Now, we put up with all sorts of compromises on abortion. I'm in California, and I voted for waiting periods. I was outvoted. I voted for parental notification. I was outvoted. And in states where majority of the population doesn't believe in abortion, abortion until the Supreme Court case came down was still available, varying periods of time after which it was considered to be a, a, a crime. But people who are pro-life have been living in states where they have had to deal with an outcome they're not happy with. Did we malign people who feel differently as evil, malicious? awful human beings, but that is how the left feels about people who feel differently. We're going to cancel the 4th of July, Independence Day, because of the Roe v. Wade decision. And now here in California, the governor, Gavin Newsom, who, by the way, wants to be president, as if that's a surprise, he says the reason for the reversal of Roe v. Wade is that men want to have control over women's bodies. Governor, I know you're watching. Riddle me this. If the reversal of Roe v. Wade is about men wanting to have control over women's bodies, one of those, by the way, who voted for the reversal was Amy Coney Barrett, who is a, 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 a woman. And there's a Vox poll, I think it was 2015, 2016. A greater percentage of women are pro-choice than men. So if a greater percentage of women are pro-choice than men, how do you make the argument that the reversal of Roe v. Wade is about men controlling the bodies of women when a greater percentage of women oppose abortion than men? Just a thought. And by the way, is it relevant that roughly 25% of babies aborted are black babies? Is it relevant that almost half of black births or would-be births are terminated because of abortion in America? Is that at all relevant? Now, I can understand if those who are in favor of abortion said, well, people who are pro-life talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. By that, they don't provide resources for women that are in so-called crisis pregnancies. You might have been able to make that argument back in 1973 when Roe v. Wade got passed, but not now. There are between three and 4,000 so-called pregnancy resource centers or, or pregnancy crisis centers, however you want to phrase them, three to 4,000 in America. 
And for every child, there are 35 couples willing to adopt that child. So don't tell me there aren't people willing to adopt children. So the resources are there. The money is there. And pro-lifers not only talk the talk, but they walk the walk with their wallets. Now, some of the other celebrities who've made comments about canceling the 4th of July include Lizzo. I need to spell that. I may be mispronouncing it L-I-Z-Z-O, not in my demographic. And I'm an Otis Redding, a Rita Franklin County guy, but I understand the millennials and the Gen Xs and the whatever generation under Gen X likes this person. Olivia Rodrigo, cancel the Day of Independence. Taylor Swift, I know who she is. She uh, was country west and then became pop. She's the one whose microphone was taken away from her at that award ceremony by Kanye West. Time. Why, why do I know that? My girlfriend watches all these shows, and so I happen to be watching that day. Billy Elish, all of them wanted the 4th of July celebrations canceled because of the reversal of Roe v. Wade. And none other than that moral arbiter of America, Kim Kardashian, took to Twitter, Instagram rather, 4th of July has been canceled due to a shortage of independence. Sincerely, women. So she speaks for all the women in America, including those who are pro-life. And as I mentioned, some polls show a greater percentage of women are pro-life than men. So she's speaking for all these women, apparently including the pro-life women. What power she has, what authority she has, it is most, most impressive. From Air 7 HD, it's a wild sight to behold every year. Thousands of illegal fireworks going off throughout our area, lighting up the sky as far as the eye can see for hours on end. Seems like this play out every year across the LA area. The only place I got to widen out and show you the illegal fireworks celebrations here are uh, really getting underway. This is just one little sliver of South LA. There you can see LAPD's helicopter. Look at how high they had to get, but it's really, really crazy. All of the fireworks that we see here on the 4th of July. So LAPD definitely going to have their hands full tonight. They're trying to uh, break up for now, at least this uh, one little block party here on uh, McKinley Street. Uh, Susie and Juan back to the studio. Hope you enjoyed that video. The full show is available to watch right now on Epoch TV. Just click the link in the description below to learn more because we've got a country to save.